All right, so Jane has three bags of lollies. In bag one, there are three mints and three toffees. In bag two, there are three mints and two toffees. And in bag three, there are two mints and a toffee. Now Jane selects a bag at random and then selects a lolly at random. And find the probability that she chooses a mint from bag one. So there are two events at play here, right? First one is when Jane has to choose between different bags and then she has to choose among the lollies. So for these kind of questions where there are multiple events at play or they are cascaded events, it's always, always recommended to draw a tree diagram, right? So let's start from the triggering event. So Jane can choose between bag one or bag two or bag three, right? And since they are equally likely to happen, we can assign the same and equal probability to each one of them. That is one over three, one over three, and one over three. Similar to when we assign a probability of one over two to each side of a coin when we flipped it, right? Now let's move inside a particular branch. When choosing bag one, Jane can choose between mint or a toffee, right? And the respective probability can be found from the relative frequency, right? So there are total six uh, lollies in bag one, three mints and three toffees. So uh, for the probability of mint while she's in bag one is three over six, right? And similarly for toffee, it's again three over six. Now I want you to draw your attention towards this very important aspect. This thing, this event, this is the probability of uh, Jane choosing a mint. Given that she is in bag one or she has chosen bag one, this is not the overall probability of mint. This is just the probability of Jane choosing a mint given that she is in bag one. All right. Now let's come back to the question where we wanted to find the probability that Jane chooses a mint from bag one, right? And mathematically, we can write this thing as probability of mint intersection bag one. And from the multiplication rule of probability, this is equal to probability of bag one multiplied by probability of M given bag one, essentially the product of this whole branch, right? So the probability of bag one is one over three and the probability of mint given bag one is three over six so we can say that the probability that jane chooses a mint from bag one is one over six